What is up guys, it's Jake, and there is some pretty big news today regarding the USA launch of Hasbro Beyblade Burst, and it sucks. So this website called The Business Wire actually posted this huge article about Hasbro's Beyblade Burst and it actually included a small little trailer-ish sort of thing for the actual dubbed TV show which I think I'll talk about in a future video there's not a lot of info about it right now so there's really no point covering it but it mainly just confirmed everything that we know already saying how you know released in Canada in September and then it's gonna release to larger Canadian markets um, a little bit in the future but what it said about the US release is what's getting a ton of people on the WBO like way, way mad. And me included, and especially me, because it says that Hasbro, you know, Beyblade Burst will be launched in January of 2017. Boy, why? Why did you release it? So many months prior to your grand release to a small market in Canada. I mean, it's a smaller market right now, but it's going to grow across 2016, across friggin' October, November, December, and then January. It's friggin' three months. That is a three month gap in between their first Canadian release and their planned release in the US. Like, why, Hasbro? Why release your TV show and your toys to a very small, very small, little, tiny little baby piece of your entire, your entire demo, your entire launch? <sighs> I, I just don't get it. It's a complete and utter failure. Like... You can say, you can talk all, all you want about Hasbro products, so their recolors are bad, their plastic is cheaper, their launchers suck, their stadiums suck, whatever. I mean, you can have a bunch of different opinions on that, but one thing that every single person will tell you is that their friggin' launch sucked. I, I, I gotta sit down for this for a second. And it's not just they released a tiny little bit of toys to Canada, in like one little specific area, okay? This was their toy line launch, their full, pretty much their full launch in Canada and their TV show launch in Canada and the US is going to get it so many months later. And then, of course, you know, a bunch of other markets like the European markets are, are going to get it even farther than that. I, 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 I distinctly remembered that it was going to get a... Canada, US, like whole like North American release in late 2016, like fall 2016, and then their broader market was gonna be in like early 2017 here. And that's that that sucked. But I, I could live with that, you know. I do live in the US. So while it does suck, it's not really a big issue for me, but I'm like that was really upsetting in the first place. But now the early launch in 2017 is going to be for their pretty much their biggest freaking market, the United States. Uh, uh, it's such a botch, Hasbro. Like, just wait. You should have just waited. Oh, my face is really red because I just rubbed my face. But you should have just waited. You should have waited until holiday 2016 and then released it all across North America and like maybe February of 2017 March March at the latest you release it to Europe but you're releasing it in a small market first and it's not just a little baby beta release it's a pretty much their full release in Canada as they're releasing the TV show with it too and then just it's it's bad it's It's really, really, really upsetting, and I don't know, like, I just don't see the real reason 
why they would do this. You know, anyway, it, it, whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, there's really nothing you can do about it at this point. It's a real thing. Um, for all you Canadians, I feel super happy for you. You're getting a TV show uh, September 10th on Teletoon, which is completely confirmed now. Um, the dub seems like it's going to be pretty decent. Vault's, they showed off Vault, uh, Vault's voice, and I think it kind of fits his character. Uh, you're already getting the toys. You're going to get the toys on a broader release to like other provinces and stuff like that. Um, a little bit later, like a few, like a month or two, or maybe even end of 2016, and then us U.S. people, we're getting it 2017, January, and I presume we're gonna get the same show that Canada's had for four months on in January as well. So we're gonna be really behind on the dub, uh, really behind on everything. So yeah. All around me are familiar faces, worn out. Thank you guys for watching. This video has been full of salt. Full, 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 full little sprinkles of salt here. And I hope you guys liked it. If you like this video, drop a like down there. I'll see you in the next one. Have fun and bay away.